openings for 2020, my personal ones. And uh, I'm not going to be going through the entire OBS thing. I'm just going to go through what I use and what this is. So uh, yeah, first thing is my first scene. I just have one display capture and sources. Realistically, you should be using like uh, a game capture if you're going to do gameplay or something like that, because you will get a higher frame rate in it doing it that way. But uh, yeah, I usually just use just one display capture to capture everything. It's my webcam one. It's usually minimized, but I just do it like that for whenever I'm doing like the little top down mouse thing. Um, now then for my first audio is my desktop audio. Go over to properties. It's hooked up to my FIO E10K. I don't have it on default. So that's that. Let's go to filters. I have a compressor on my desktop audio. The ratio is 10 to one. That's kind of high, but you know, you could lower it. You could not. And I have it side chain slash ducking to my mic, the mic I'm talking into right now. What side chain slash ducking does is that whenever I talk, it lowers the desktop audio into this compression rate or another one, because like if it's hitting 30, it'll just go down. But uh, yeah, so whenever I talk, if you hear any desktop audio, it'll just push itself back, become quieter whenever I'm talking. So it doesn't overpower your voice whenever you're doing it. Is this the best way to do it? A lot of people say no, some say yes, but uh, for me, it just works. So that's why I use it. Um, let's go over here to settings. Now then, let me go to video first. Cause it, yeah, okay, look, it's currently active right now. So I usually just record at 720p. Like I, since 1440p, well, no, since 720p is a derivative of 1440p, it makes the scaling go down easier than if I was to say, do the output scale to 1080p. It's just less work on my graphics card at that point to do it like that instead of doing a 1080p video. And 720p, when you push enough bit rate to it, it looks all right. Maybe not as crisp, but it looks pretty much okay. And so that's why I do it like that because it scales down better when you're using 720p on a 1440p monitor and also a 4k monitor really um i don't stream on obs regular obs so we're not going to focus on that one um i'm on the advanced setting of recording and usually i record an mkv with three audio tracks audio track one i'm pretty sure is two things now audio track one is my mic and my desktop audio audio track two is my mic audio and and audio track three is just my desktop audio separate so that's how that works out for me and uh use mkv three things why well, use mkv over mk over mp4 well because like an mkv file from my understanding when you when you're recording an mkv and if anything happens to the like let's say your obs shuts down you have a power surge and your computer shuts off you're not going to lose the recording mkv saves it and it's not like mp4 usually for mp4 it would be corrupted but mkv saves it from the last point that you were recording so that should be good and from my understanding that's what mkv does the encoder i use nvidia nvenc the new one because i have a 2080 super and Inven new nvenc is way better than me just using my cpu because it doesn't overcrowd it as much as it used to. Now then, I use CQP. Now then, CQP stands for constant quantiz quantization parameters. From what I get from it, what it does is it has a it has an algorithm that goes frame by frame and tries to make everything in a single in every frame the exact same quality as the other frames that was there so your whole video should basically look the same but the thing about cqp is that you never know how much bit rate you're pushing to it also you never know what the actual file size is going to be now then from me just using 720p footage file sizes are usually like three gigs four gigs so I guarantee if I went up to like 1080p, they'd be like six, seven, eight, maybe 10. And this 1440p one I'm recording right now, cause I'm not like, 
because like i was gonna do this in 720 but uh 720 doesn't look all that great when you're trying to read text and things like that for gameplay it's fine but for this it's a sharper text so i don't want to just do that and now this the cq level the lower you go the the more quality you're going to get out of it usually you should stick to 18 but 18 was kind of overloading my gpu so i went up to 20 well really 19 i could have worked with that because it wasn't but i just moved it one up to 20 just to make sure i was in the clear and uh from cq level i think 14 is lossless quality but that's a really high file size and honestly you need like an eight core cpu to do that dedicated on a streaming machine to make that look great for right now i'm just using 20 with on a two second keyframe interval and it looks pretty good for 720p because you know it keeps pushing more and more bitrate to it uh, i have my quality preset on high profile on high i have psycho visual tuning turned on this was just on default on so i just leave it on i don't turn on look ahead because like I don't think I need look ahead and my max B frames are set to two uh, audio. I think I already showed you this. It's into my FIO E10K DAC for my mic. I use a Go XR mini with an MM, not an MM710. That's a mouse with an MXL 770 and uh, it goes into that. Now then that's for that. Now we're going to open up. All right. So these are my streaming settings right here. I still use InVenc because that's just best for me to use honestly here i use cbr i use a bit rate of 10,000. now then for twitch you can only use 6,000. if you're a partner i think it's unofficial but you can go up to 8,000 with twitch i think it's unofficial though and i have my keyframe set to two max quality preset profile high psycho visual tuning on max b frames of two now then for over here i have my base canvas set to 720 and my output set to 720. why do i do this because there's no scaling and i just i don't actually play at 720 i play at 1440p but just so it doesn't have to scale down i'm just going to keep everything at 720 and i keep my webcam at 720 and everything else so it's easier for me to do it like this just changing my base canvas resolution because it takes a load off my gpu why I don't do that over here is because it just 720p just looks terrible over here like that. I don't want it always to be 720p on my base canvas because I sometimes just change it to 1440p or 1080. And instead of just changing the entire thing and you having to resizing it, I'll just do it like that. But uh, yeah, I keep doing this. Output. Okay, streaming. I've already showed you this. This is everything you need to see over here mic settings are the exact same aka on the uh where's that on yeah this right here same thing side chain audio ducking or whatever filters right there same thing except for this one's a three to 40. i don't know why it's like that i, I did it for some reason i keep forgetting but uh now we're gonna go over to go xlr and look at my microphone settings right now all right now then here are my go xlr mic settings uh the gate the noise gate i have it at 45 negative 45 so anything below 45 decibels this microphone will not pick it up attenuation 100 percent there's a glitch going on with this that i keep getting i don't know if anyone else is getting this but i personally do it keeps hitting down to zero and it make my mic sound really bad i thought the mic xlr was broken until i just saw this at zero percent and i didn't understand it, so i just turned it up to 100 and my microphone instantly started sounding better and it's happened multiple other times now where like i'll cut out the software and it'll just go down to zero percent it did just have an update and it hasn't happened since but i don't know what else is going on with it but yeah that's one thing about attenuation i don't know what's going on but my attack is 10 milliseconds my release is 300 milliseconds my equalizer you guys can fill around with this these are the settings i pretty much like to have higher low end somewhat high high end but yeah I really don't know much about the equalizer. I just watched the video and kind of did what he said. But yeah, my compressor is a negative 16. So if I ever hit negative 16, a two to one ratio is going to come in at two milliseconds. So basically, as soon as it happens and release it like 230 milliseconds. So it has like a more, more natural sounding fall off. And my mic setup, I have it pushing plus 35. I used to have it at plus 40, but 
that somewhat had me at the loudest setting right over here and this has me more so in the low end but i kind of like 40 i'm i'm still playing around with this number right here of gain that i need 38 maybe 37 because 40 is a bit too loud but i really don't like 35 because like i don't know i personally feel like i'm screaming at my mic right now to make sure my levels are still hitting the way they should be but uh yeah gonna put okay on that because like now it's not changing anymore and um uh, yeah that's basically all of my settings for obs streamlabs obs and my go xlr setup that's everything you need to see everything you need to know and uh that's on my mic and i get the quality of my videos so uh yeah i'm out